Hello, this is Divine Sunshine on her morning drive. Starting early at the top of my drive and then, uh, like I said, I'll stop uh, at a halfway thing because um, I, I let go on to carry on <laughs> since uh, so I can be able to charge up my phone. So, uh, again, thank you for choosing and liking and sharing and tuning in to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, receiving. Uh, continuing on with the series of understanding that on this journey we've got to allow, we got to trust, we got to believe, we got to receive, and we got to uh, also know. Uh, so today uh is received uh I, I got a lot a lot a lot of messages when i opened up my mail and uh email and then also from facebook about the the message that they have i usually get daily messages about winning uh it's a spiritual inspiration thing that they tell you about what's today we're expecting for us to win in every avenue and area that we have in our life and then I scroll down and something else said winning uh, again and I told you again you could always it's you know of course there's people that are saying about also in the collective who see 1212 so divine order uh, you know just keeping everything in divine order you can ask for the universe to kind of filter and only show you things that's going to that's needed and that's going to help you on this journey and uh they showed me winning so i would say receiving and winning and i thought about it saying all i do is win 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 no matter what i, I got money on my mind and i never give it up every time i step into the building everybody hands go up and they stay there and they stay there and it's there up down up down up down all i do is win 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 Stay ahead and stay there. Doom, doom, doom. So, you know, I think about that throwing your hands up in the air. And I'm thinking about it. I said, you know, a lot of times we got a problem in receiving, especially as divine feminines. We're such a giving, 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 giving uh, things. And I think on the divine masculine thing, it's okay for him to receive, receive, receive. But he has an issue in giving. It's the opposite. Just like polar opposite, like mirroring action. And that is something that uh, we've got to learn, especially on this journey. That's why we have like the infinity sign, like I said, on Saturday and swapping of energies. Understanding that, um, that the energies that we send in, it's very important that we are like that temperance card. That we create that balance uh, within and so understanding that i was thinking about this morning when i was looking on facebook as well uh about uh it was a house that was in buckhead i used to live in atlanta and i lived up in buckhead you know uh it was in a, a an apartment and i remember my mom had pretty much had claimed the very spot we was riding on the bus and she was saying oh isn't this nice if you would live around here now, I didn't know the very spot that she had claimed was the very spot in which I lived. She looked one day when, we, when I actually was there, and she said, hold on a second. This is the spot I claimed for you. Uh, she's like, I said right here at this very spot for you to be able to do that. And so, uh, Buckhead is like one of the really nice lavishes, those of you who are not familiar with Atlanta. You know, you live up there, Buck, uh, Buckhead, Piedmont. All those things. Shout out to my ATL people if you're on the it's subscribers. Uh, that you know that's really you up there. Like all of them, you you see them up there. Phipps Plaza. I worked at Phipps Plaza. All that kind of stuff. And so uh, they had a house that they were showing. Man, oh my God, this house is bad. And as I was looking at the house. I could feel myself like, oh, that was nice. I sure would like to have that one day. But it was a feeling that had resonated along with it. That was like, mm. I said, what is that feeling? Like, you don't think that, like, one day the universe or the source could 
maybe uh, even gift you with that house. You don't know where life is going to lead you. Why would you kind of like seal yourself off to say, I can't, mm, I can't have no house like that. You know, I'm looking, coming up with all different kind of damn going excuses. It had like a pool. It had like a, okay, now, pause to be in source. It had like a pool. It had a beautiful, lavish backyard. Uh, everything about it was just like it was just beautiful, and and I was I was coming to woods and said, oh now who I'm gonna keep up with that and like if I would win money, how would I be able to pay for the tax? I mean I was just calculating all different kind of excuses, and that made me think about like a lot of times even not on that big of a scale, but on our own scale how we talk ourselves out of things in which we are supposed to actually win. Uh, and a lot of times the ego, like this thing says, safety is my goal. The ego, you know, it, it's, its main goal is is to be able to create safety. Like, no, nah, you don't need that. Or, no, nah, if you do this, this is going to happen. No, nah, if you do that, this is going to happen. I think about uh, uh, Dolores Cannon and her thing. She calls it Mr. Stupid. Her daughter's like, I don't like you calling it that, you know, the ego that, you know. But, uh what she's saying does have some um, validity to it, which is really saying, okay, make sure I'm seeing right. Uh, it does have some validity to it because uh, it, it, it comes up with this crazy like answers and whys as to why you shouldn't have that. You know, it's like overthinking it. And so, um, that's one of our biggest obstacles in which we're talking about like receiving things the issue is it's us oh my the thing say twinning four <laughs> that's what it say on the license plate right and so we got to be able to in every area uh we've got to be able to win now i'm thinking about also they had in one of the messages sent to me uh said about winning four ways and so I asked Spirit, I said, well, how can you win in four ways? And uh, and that's a nice the Spirit that brought me as a reminder to say, remember what we said we want you to do. They keep on talking about this safety, clean safety. So, again, it seems like, again, like even when you're doing things, you know, you can do it safely. But at the same time, don't get it to the point that it's kind of stopping you for you to be able to take those risks. There's a such thing as safe risk. And then there's this, uh, this with full abandonment of <laughs> risk that's like, it's too risky risk uh, that you're taking. And so the four things that they had bought to me while I was getting ready and washing up was like, yeah, you know how the four ways you can win. I was like, how? Through your thoughts, through your words, through your actions, and through your reactions. Those are the things that are the basic principles of truth. Uh, that uh, those things, metaphysics, in which I was brought up on, those are the main things as far as uh, principles that they're saying everything stands on as far as even when you're manifesting things, even when you're trying to draw things in or, or, or keep. <laughs> I want to be with you too. Uh, and so my thing is you are here. Let's put it that way. Thank you. Uh, and so that's nothing I want to remember to talk about that too. Uh, so those are the things in which uh, we have to kind of remember again that that's how we cause for things to actually show up. And we've got to learn how to be able to receive in our thinking the words that we use, the actions that we put forth, and our reactions. That means how we respond how we react, you know, it's a difference, like I was telling the kids in the classroom, listen here, it's a difference the way, you know, when things happen, you react to something, that means you just right off the top of your head, you know, I think about like when doing crimes, crimes of passion, where they say, well, you know, I seen my car in bed, and then I just took my knife and I stabbed them 55 times, I know, you're like, oh my God, what? So, you know, that's, that's, that's again that's how we kind of do with our even with our feelings and our thoughts and how we react to stuff uh when it comes to this 
twin flame journey. You know, we just go right off the top, off the top of our dome, as they say. Uh, and not really thinking about, you know, what's the repercussions of it. It's just like right now is that. And that's where some of that self-sabotaging kind of comes in uh, as well. Uh, that, you know, well, it happened last time. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I protect myself. Uh, that this don't happen again. And so before you know you're doing a lot of things or something going too good along with you in the divine uh, counterpart. And then you find yourself doing something following what Mr. Stupid, as the Lord's Karen say, uh, says. Uh, in your brain, you're listening to it, which is leading you all the way off, you know, and so you got to kind of be able to control that. So that's why you want to really make sure that you come to a place where you are actually responding. That's in your actions to these things, how you receiving things, you know, like sometimes a way of saying that, like you receiving a compliment and you saying, oh, this old thing, oh, child, please, y'all had this, this about this get ready. Okay. Uh, I, I'm getting ready to throw this outfit out. Girl, I'm about to throw this to, to Goodwill. Instead of you up there receiving it, like, thank you. You know, or like we say, oh, my God, your hair is so cute. I love the color. Like, oh, girl, I'm about to go get my hair done tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It's old. You know, just, just receiving. It's like, okay, yeah, thank you. I'm so glad, you know. And like I tell oh, my mom, times my mom tell me that. The older it gets, like when it, and it's time for me to go back, it, it usually looks really well. So thank you. I'm glad to see that that it really becomes into its own fold. Um, and towards the end, it really start expressing itself the way I want it to. You know, just got to remind this ways in which this the littlest things that we've got to be mindful of how we actually responding to. Uh, these things, how we are in our actions. And so uh, that is a big, big item, especially when, like I said, with the divine feminine, just receiving. We love to give. We love to give in an abundance. Uh, a lot of times that's what they're saying with the divine master. We have to remind them, listen, you know, you ain't got to worry about that. You show us just a little bit of love. We could take that and multiply that. That's why a lot of times with the divine feminine, you know, her job is the multiplier. <laughs> you know, you give a little bit. You all working on the project together to make it manifest. She'll come up with the idea. She'll take that thing and, and come up with 55 different ways. Then you say, okay, now we could do it. It can happen this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. You know, and so... We, we're always in that giving mode, you know, and, and that. But what problem is, is that we don't have, it's like uh, being able to receive. Uh, that is our biggest thing. And so uh, with that understanding that, you know, it's four ways, four ways in which we can actually win on this journey. What we have to also say to ourselves a lot of times through, uh, come on, through uh, affirming and believing and allowing is that sometimes we have to let us uh, say things, statements. Like even when I had read the statement, I had to kind of uh, on Facebook and I see me and how I was reacting with the, uh, the house. I was like, wait, 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 wait a second. I, I got to stay in a statement right now so I can say like I am open and receptive to my abundance and my good. I am opening and receptive to my abundance and my good. I am open and receptive to my abundance and my good. Because it seems as if, and then also just see yourself expand as you're doing, using some visualization, arms wide open. I used to do like an exercise, I remember one time that uh, it was like I was standing in like an open metal and I was actually standing there with my hands out. Uh, and it was like nothing around. Just like the abundance, like the vacuum to let the uh, universe know that I could uh, actually just um, actually just be able to receive. It's just that open air around there for all my abundance to be able to. It's like it wasn't like a, uh, it was a void that could be filled by the universe. It's not something that... Uh, actually uh that 
I had too much already there that I couldn't be able to receive it. Like my own ideas, my ideology, my own beliefs, my past hurts, those things. And I remember uh, that was an exercise that was given to me that helped me, whoa, uh, that had helped me to be able to receive um, my good. So that's uh, one thing I'll pass on to you if you have an issue with that to understand, to be able to receive your winning uh and, and able to get this goal that you have set for it so it, it those are the really the four major keys uh in which you got to really work with in as far as receiving which is understanding that you have to receive through your thoughts through your uh um, through your words through your actions and your reactions uh on to like a divine masculine channeling real quick uh, the Divine Masculine, just right now, just send him some love uh, with that. Uh, he's really saying this kind of hang on in there with him energetically. Don't think about kind of like taking away. Right now, like I told you all yesterday, the Divine Masculine is trying to make some moves on his own. He's trying to adjust. He's trying to uh, also be in receptive mode emotionally about some things that's happening. A couple of them are trying to kind of like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't want this. It's uh, Divine Pisces 222. I've seen in her title. I didn't get a chance to uh, look at it. But about this transformation, you know, it's got to happen. Uh, and, and also within ourselves as a Divine Feminine, those of you all that's having that. Yeah, I, I see him sending me a signal. He's thinking, uh, you've got to be able to, so Divine Masculine also uh, is also receiving that and saying, yeah, that's true. Um, you got to also get into the mode of also um, receiving the transformation that you've got to go on those towers those aha moments whatever it is like that that comes along in your thinking because that's your divine masculine energy space you got to be able to, to say okay i receive it remember again like i told you all the infinity sign that you all are you're the divine ma uh, feminine you all in that leadership role you got to kind of set the example you got to be the role model for them. okay now you have to kind of show them like a little child somebody said that i don't know that was uh 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 daniel boom or somebody and somebody else like you got to treat them like they, you're a child too you got to kind of show them look this is how i handled the situation now you know you can do it too so look at me look at how i, how I did the situation okay so now then you in turn, you can be able to do that. So I went through my tower moment. You could do your tower moment. I got found the aha moment. You could do the aha moment. You know, so uh, you've got to kind of show them that it's, it's, it's okay because they kind of looking kind of wide-eyed like the little boy in them. Like, I don't want to do it. And he's like, listen here. Look at you. You have to send them energetically. Remember the time when I went through my tower moment? Like I could say, with my dad passing. You see how I did that? See how I weathered through all that? You kept on telling me I was strong. I was strong through it. And I was. See how things had worked out at the end. How everybody was proud. Mom was proud. He was proud energetically. I didn't know a lot about myself. That what I was capable of through the learning of the lesson of the deaf. You know, sometimes if you have to experience death, rather it's physical or something's got to die and let go whether it's a karmic situation you see how i came out on the end of the end of it and he's like yeah i i, I seen it i seen the divine truth i seen it now that's the way how you gonna end up on the end of it okay well maybe i can try it you know it's gonna be hard i ain't gonna lie to you i'm gonna tell you the truth but at the end of it i'm so very proud of myself too it's what i how i stood up how I stood in my power, how I showed up for myself, how I showed up for my family. You can do it too. And you're like, oh, okay, maybe I can try it. I don't know. So that's the same thing that you have to um, do as well, Divine Feminine. You got to kind of show them energetically and have that conversation with them 50. It ain't more so about the romanticism and, 
and getting with them. But that fifth D right now is very open. Uh, and I'll tell you why I know I did it. And I know for living proof that it's very open. It's very extremely thin. Like you could shoot it to them. And you have to have those conversations to kind of reassure them. And I know the song that they sent me is like, don't go nowhere. You know, you really, I, I, I look to you. You're a source of my comfort and all these other things like that. So very important. I know some of you are like, nah, you know, I'm not in it. You know, he can do whatever he's going to do. But again, that 50, you got to remember, you're giving up on yourself. I, I don't know any kind of other way to kind of say that. They say twin, twin and four. Right, you giving up on yourself. This twin thing is real. It's just showing itself. So you you can't you can't you can't you can't do that. You cannot do that to yourself. Rather, it's energetically or the divine masculine physically. But that DM energy, you cannot give up on that because that's it's so much a part of you. And so, uh, what? You need to have those conversations, those deep, naked truth conversations with your divine masculine or your divine counterpart. That's what that really right now, that's what it's for. Help to empower them. Tell them what you know, things. You could even have the conversation. You heard me. I told you about the videotape, how you all could do that and sit there and videotape about everything that's going on. You can even not even have to be about negative stuff. You can maybe even have the conversation with them positively. If you can't talk to them, videotape yourself. Like, my day was great. You know, I did X, Y, and Z. And then reverse it. Watch yourself again. Uh, and the mask itself and re and see yourself in your mask itself receiving that. Oh, that's nice. You know, I wish I could be there with her to experience those experiences with her. And yada, yada, yada. Send that on over, over the rainbow to the other side to them. Uh, let me show, show you how that does work. Last night, I went on a field trip with my kids to... Um, to Alvin Ailey, I told you all that one. Well, it was a nice experience. <laughs> it was interesting because I went to go pick up my mom, and uh, the bus broke down. Now, everybody know me, know I love Alvin Ailey. That's the tradition. I've been seeing them since I was like a little kid, maybe the age that I took uh, uh, the other day uh, to see. They young, because I remember, I remember, now this is how I dated it was. Uh, I remember Alvin Ailey and mom taking me. That was when the young lady, uh, they played Whitney off a different world. She used to dance for Alvin Ailey. And I remember uh, her dancing in Alvin Ailey back then. Now, that's way back then, the 80s, 90s, a little bit further. And that's when she was dancing with them. So that's how far back my history of going to see Alvin Ailey has. We talk about that deep. Uh, and so... When it went there, so everybody around, they weren't there because my group wasn't going to be there. The show started at 7.30. I got there about 6.45 when my got there. Man uh, had played through Spot Hero for the parking space. Man, because I forgot I had this handicap thing for Dad. Man looked at my car and told me to park right over there, like prime spot right there in the front row. And he was sitting, I was like, why are you telling me that? I said, oh, that's right, I got the handicap thing. So I was like, thank you, Dad, you know, whatever. We went across the street, Mom was holding me because she's like, I can't see, and whatever. So I felt like in some ways, Dad had told me that he was kind of with us on that day, like it was a, it was like date night for them too, and I'll tell you how that went. Uh, so, uh, and so she was holding on to me, so I went into my masculine spirit. I said, okay, let the feminine check out, let her have that masculine moment like ghost, like whoopee and Demi Moore let her have that moment so we walked across the street and I was kind of talking to her in like my in my guys let his energy kind of feed off so she can have that masculine thing sometimes you can do that too so I did that we walked across the street and whatever so then she went to her seat my people weren't there I got the call she's like I told him I was here and she's like, oh, my God, the bus broke down. We got a whole bunch of issues. Not the bus broke down. They had issue with the bus. Find out the bus company didn't send the bus, so they had to find another bus company to send some since their parents was waiting there. And so I ended up sitting in the seat by myself in the section until they came until, like, 745. And my mom, she was sitting down 
at the road cutting out the seat that I had given her. I, I thought I had given her. I knew it was front row seats, like really front. But some kind of way the lady had set her like like very like the first row. <laughs> now you get up there in the first row. They ain't where they had not set you, uh, uh, had bought the tickets for you because this is her birthday month. Uh, and so I was like, this ain't this ain't where I set you. So she's like, nah, that's where I'm gonna be. So uh, that's where they sat me. So I was like, oh okay. So the seat next to her was empty. So that stayed empty. So uh, while before I had went there. I had said, I said, okay, April Williams said, give me assignments. She said, well, y'all go out, get dressed up, do like a date thing. So I was like, okay. I didn't know where the energy was going to lead me for that. So then I said, okay. I said, that's right. She had told me about that. So I said, let me treat this like this is date night. So I had on my heels. I said, because when I got there, I said, some here ready lately. I said, I want to get into back into my heels again. That feel, makes me get into my feminine energy. More so these flats all the time. So I was like, okay. So I put, uh, I got there and we were standing because they didn't let open up the, the ways for you to be able to go until uh, upstairs until it's like exactly seven o'clock. And that's when they open up the house. And so I was like, oh, Lord, now these kills are starting to kill me. So I was like, okay, I, and I can't go up these stairs. If you've been to the Auditorium Theater here in Chicago, it's a very historic, it's over 200 years old of a building, but you could tell that when they had built it, it they didn't use levelers to actually do, uh, to make sure that the stuff is straight. So when you get on there, it's got like a fun house gangster lean to everything <laughs> so I was like oh Jesus I got to climb up these stairs too I said let me go and take the elevator so I went on and I took the elevator and so then at that moment it hit me that I said you know what well, I'm pretending like it's date night so I said okay you and I, I'm gonna hit the elevator we're gonna go up this elevator together I right, watch it people they ain't talking about me ain't reenacting no McNasty thing <laughs> I ain't metaphysics but anyway so we went on the elevator and I was like I could pretend I said I could feel so I said okay it's date night so I pretended like and I could feel him like really be like right up because most of the time he does if he stands right behind me he gets right up on the butt because I got a big booty but he gets right there on the butt and this right there so I, whatever it, it excites him whatever but anyway so uh, I could feel him like energetically like standing like he usually do and so I, when I got off of it and I sat down, lo and behold, he come text talk about what you doing. I said, I said, I'm at the, I told you this morning I got to go um, on the field trip. So he was going to try to come see me. And so I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. And I said, this is funny. I said, I was just pretending we was on a date night. Soon as I got off this thing and the lady sat me and we sat in the seat and I said, okay, you sitting down and I could picture us in the jacket. I'm there. He's sitting there. He texts me right there in that instant. That's why I'm saying that the 5D is very extremely thin. They can feel you in the jacket. If you open to the experience, they're open and they can pick up. And he was right there. He's like, wow, that's interesting. I said, I'm just saying we was just on a date. And you text me right there to the nanosecond. It wasn't like a couple of minutes. As soon as I sat down and I started talking to him energetically, it, it popped up on my things like, what you doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying they can feel it. Now, 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 now ain't nobody it, we ain't, as close as you are and you keep on priming that pump and you have that connection with your divine masculine, your divine feminine. They're feeling it right now. So that's why I say it's very, why you got this, uh, while we talk about winning, and you got this extra, like uh, like they say, in playing uh, spades, or is you, you trump them, and you got this extra uh, weapon, that's for you to use it to your advantage, especially if they're in these kind of situations, karmic situations, or three third-party energies thing. You know, just send them love, and just let them know, this is for me. And then they like, okay, I feel empowered, I feel love, I feel protected. I'm I'm feeling a lot of stuff like that. I'm I'm you know, maybe today's the day that I like I could do this thing. I could deal with my karmic or my tower because I feel like I'm not doing this by myself. I feel like uh, it, it, I feel like I got backup today. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I'm just 
feel so you know you 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 send them that stuff you know like you say uh divine pisces 222 was saying you know we we can't comically divine films we've been holding up we've been so much on the giving and like i said receiving it's time for them to kind of be able to receive emotionally and too uh our counterparts you know the the karmic lessons that's going to lead and to evolve into a dojo lesson which is going to help them to be able to find the way learn how to find the way where they are their true path into enlightenment uh and so that's pretty much our job that we have to actually um they got to do at this point and all we can do is just send them love and that's another way to say you're not by yourself i'm not deserting you but i'm just letting you know i can't that part of the leg of the journey i can't do that with you uh and like i said i've told you all before in winning there has been some divine feminine spirits that I have adopted, like Kuan Yin. She's a spirit of, uh, of Asian, uh, divine feminine, but she's strong, but powerful, but soft. We have to also divine feminines. The hard things, we have to remember a lot of times in life, they didn't experience that either through uh, experiences with their fathers or their mothers or whoever the caretaker is, and a lot of them, they got a twisted understanding. And we got to show him that understanding that although I'm firm, but I'm still here. I still love you. It's a little difference. Don't kind of equate myself with that or even in the karmic situations that they're actually in and the way they're presenting to them. It's like it's okay for you to understand no. But at the same time, you got to understand that no means it still comes with love. It's still it's not a no in there saying I'm just setting you out there <laughs> with that. Uh, and so that's very important that we kind of, uh, uh, that they feel that energy. And you need that too as well. You know, you ain't always just the, the, the divine counterpart. But you got to understand that sometimes some things that you didn't did with yourself that you wasn't in total agreement with. And that you still there for yourself. That's, that's another thing. Maybe I would add on forgiveness too. That helps you to win. Because that clears the way just like this traffic here clears their way in the path for you to go on because that forgiveness kind of still acts as a burden and a block for you not to be in your true winning self okay it's going on 30 minutes so let me stop uh because that head just came i meant to just do it halfway but that's what the spirit is bringing to me is that divine master says still send him love regardless no matter where it is and it's not just like you throwing it out there remember that you are divine masculine too divine feminine you house that energy, especially when we talk about balance and temperance. So that, again, when you're throwing it out there, remember, just like a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's what the infinity sign means, and that's what that energy and that pathway is showing you as well. You're not just throwing it out there for not. Say, well, that's a waste of time. You know how he is. That's just throwing it out there. That's just like throwing it on track. No, that's, that's not what it is. You're throwing it out there, and it comes back to you. All right, then, have a sunshine field day. Hit like, hit share. Don't forget, all those of you all that want a DM uh, 411, remember I run this special 30 minutes for 22 to understand the divine masculine energy. So, within what's happening within you and out, how ways you can help them. Uh, remember that through my videos, they're always power packed with healing, empowerment, and um, also. Um, for you to be transformed and know what's the next move you need to make. I also have the Divine uh, Masculine uh, live reading. If you want to have that as well, 20 minutes. If Spirit leads me to do more, I usually uh, do that if we need to investigate. Uh, however, uh, we're starting with that because a lot of times you get power packed and that's a lot of energy that's being pulled because I'm also pulling into your Divine Masculine as well. March set March for the intention is for it to be a miraculous. They keep on showing. They just show me a truck there. Miraculous March. M stands for March, and March stands for miracles. Means things that you thought that weren't supposed to happen to you that actually are supposed to, but you, the powers that be, just opens it up for you. Uh, regardless, I see move you. So to move you into what you actually need to do out your comfort zone and actually be so remember march is uh, for miracles expect go with expectancy every day the universe is presenting me with a miracle and i'm thanking it 
in advance for setting forth that intention and for that expression to happen to me, through me, as me. All right, that's a good place for us to start. Team worldwide. Yeah, well, we are a team, the collective, ourselves, the divine counterpart, and also the powers that be, the universe and the source. All right, until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste, namagoten. Love you.